happy to be back with y'all. I get so excited when I film because I get to talk and I love to talk. But um, today we are going to talk about being a medical assistant and just what it looks like working during COVID. I want to first say thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed. Welcome to my channel. And um, again, I want to just talk about medical assistance today and just give y'all some pointers on what to expect so without further ado i am i do have a video at the very end of this that i do want you all to watch um and it's just me throughout my work day in the video i did not have much to show because of course i cannot really have my phone i'm not technically supposed to have my phone but i can't really have my phone um because of hipaa so you won't be able to uh, I, I wasn't able to show y'all like anything of me just swapping patients for covid or anything like that just pretty much just me setting up the lab and everything but for the most part i am um really excited to share with y'all just my journey to becoming a nurse i have to do that when i say that because if y'all knew y'all knew i'm gonna talk about it in later videos but for now um we're gonna just cover the basis of just me encouraging you as a medical assistant and what to expect i have a feeling that somebody's gonna watch this video that's new that is just straight out of medical assistant school and they're just like boom this medical assistant was not what i expected you know i know what i her growing up about being a medical assistant and I, and I know what I thought and what the media puts out about being a medical assistant, but because of COVID, it looks different. So I'm just here to talk about the differences and just how to navigate through that. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and let you all see that next this next video and then I'll come back with some tips in the end. So it is morning and I am working as a lab tech today. So I will be swabbing patients for COVID. Excuse my heater. It gets really cold in here. Um, and as a medical assistant at the urgent care that I currently work at, sometimes you can work up front in the front as a front desk uh, receptionist, or you can work in the back as a medical assistant, um, or you may work in the lab, which is what I am doing today. And so I am just going to show you all pretty much how I set up my mornings. I get here, I clock in, I put my breakfast up. Um, this morning I brought a smoothie, so I'll have that in, well, not in the lab, but I'll have it nearby. And I am going to first turn on the computer. It's kind of hard to vlog and show you all what I do. And then I pretty much just set up like the tools and the kit that I need. And I'll show you that guys here in a second. So it is slow right now. Um, typically early in the mornings, um, it's pretty slow. So right now I am literally just, um, I don't wanna say I'm not doing anything, but I'm not really doing anything. Um, I basically have went and swapped three patients already and I'm just waiting on the timer to go off so that I can result them so that we can let them go. <clears throat> As of right now, we're doing a lot of COVID testing. No one, we rarely see any urgent cares. Um, before at my previous job, we would be um, seeing a little bit of everything, pretty much just like anything from suture removals to uh, dealing with uh ekgs and x-rays we still do x-rays here but it's just not as much as we would see uh post-covid so yeah 
Okay guys, so now I am on a break because we're not that busy. So I'm just gonna warm up me some coffee and put my smoothie here inside of the refrigerator so that it won't get too warm. Um, as of right now, I'm just still doing COVID swabs. Uh, again, as I stated in the beginning of the video, you don't do a lot of urgent care at the urgent care that I work at simply because we do a lot of COVID testing and that's what people are pretty much coming in for right now. Um, but later on, I'm gonna talk about some things that you can expect when you're working as a medical assistant in an urgent care setting um anywhere from ekgs lab work um you're looking also at uh let's see ekgs lab work x-rays um triaging patients that's why they tell you in school to make sure that you are doing your vitals practicing your vitals because that is a good portion of your job as a medical assistant um again i'm going to come back later once i am done well i'm going to come back later in the day to kind of show you all what you can expect and as you can see in our snack room we do in our break room we do have snacks so most times wherever you work they'll have snacks in a coffee machine and a microwave so this is the kitchen but yeah i'm gonna come back and let you all know what you can expect <laughs> <laughs> so we are actually ordering lunch and Luce is gonna pick it up and we I'm have hangry right now <laughs> we haven't had any anything important i told y'all that i was going to update y'all if we had anything exciting we never really have anything exciting um due to covid so oh, we had a walk-in for like a runny nose <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we don't really have anything too excited mm. and we're gonna have lunch and we will i will update you all later <laughs> hey y'all so a little update my manager has requested that i go to one of the other locations to help out one of the nurses there fell sick um and so i now have to go to that location and finish out my shift on this particular at this particular location i will be working as um the nurse in the back office so well we call it nurse but it's a medical assistant so i'll be working in the back office um and i will be <sighs> swabbing patients and collecting vitals and i will also be basically getting um just basically charting charting triaging i will be and triaging consists consists of getting the patient's information their medical history um and their vitals and then just getting their just swabbing them for covid that's it i'll be doing that for the remainder of my shift, I am off at 8 p.m. and the time is now 108. So I am not really excited about this because I love to work in the lab only because there's no really big responsibility. Like for 12 hours, I literally just run COVID tests and I'm able to read over my notes for school and study. However, when you work as, an, as a medical assistant in the back office, it's kind of hard to do that, especially now with COVID because it's so busy. So yeah i will see if i can get some footage in once i get there right now again i am just driving to the other location and i'll see y'all soon say is i just wanted to leave y'all with these things i know i didn't get to cover um much in the video because of hipaa we can't really show too much of the footage from the inside of the building but if I had to leave you all with anything I would say as a medical assistant you should be compassionate dependable adaptable motivated um, about your job because you're gonna need those qualities in order to succeed like you need to be passionate about what you do okay because when you're passionate about the job people your patients can feel that um if you're dependable your co-workers and the doctors are confident in, in relying in on you and being able to distribute to distribute different tasks to you um and just being adaptable you need to be able to adapt to many environments because there are many specialties you may work in a hospital setting you may work in a cardiology office you may work in urology oncology you may work in women's health you need to be able to adapt to the environments that you work in um not only because of the setting but also because you will work with different doctors who have different skill sets or just have a different way of doing things so you need to be adaptable adaptable in that sense of um you know the of being in the field i just completely forgot what i was going to say right there but just being adapt adaptable that's one of the things that i would say too um and just being very compassionate with your uh 
your your coworkers, your patients, with yourself, um, that plays a big part in the healthcare industry. It's just compassion, like having that compassion in your heart for people, meaning your coworkers, your patients. You need that compassion because if you don't have it, you won't. It's it's impossible to enjoy the job. I'll say that it's not it's impo- it's not impossible to do the job, but it is it is impossible to enjoy it if there's no compassion in your heart. And there, that's one of the things that people are running into today with healthcare workers. They're just saying that we're not compassionate enough, or we're just not passionate enough about what we do. We don't we act like we don't want to be there. Working uh, in the healthcare industry has to be just bigger than the money. It has to be you being passionate and compassionate. Okay. And I would just say um, three things, another three, another set of three things that I would just say is um, first, it may not, your job as a medical assistant may look different due to COVID because there are new safety precautions that each office have to, you know, go utilize so that they can protect yourself, you and the patients. You want to be precautions so um there are new things that are put in place for healthcare workers so you know it may not look the same it may make your job feel a little bit more um you may feel like it's a lot like i don't feel like going and doing this and i don't feel like i have to do this and some days you're not going to feel it but it's a safety measure so your job may look different due to covid because you're having to now instead of allowing patients to walk in and just be able to check themselves in and do all these ex- all of these things, like some offices literally go outside and they take the temperature of the patients before even allowing them in. Then you have to screen the questions. And it can be a bit uncomfortable for the patients because they're sick of going through this. I mean, we're all in a state of just like being over this whole COVID thing, but um, you, they may be frustrated with that. You can't allow them to be frustrated because, I mean, to, their frustration to frustrate you because you're really just trying to do your job to protect yourself and to protect them. So sometimes I know that may seem like it should be a given, like, hey, you know, this is just a part of the protocol, but everybody's pretty much frustrated with the COVID thing. So you just have to have that patience with people and have that grace for them and for yourself as well. And I think that will kind of help you kind of know like, okay, it's different, but this is, it's the new normal. So it's just about, about it goes back to adapting. You just have to be able to adapt. Um, Be confident, be confident in, your job be confident that you can perform your job be confident have that confidence that you can do it you went to school you spent your money you've gone through the training and the externship you can do the job like you can get it you can get the job done you can save lives however be humble be humble enough to know that you're confident to do the job but you're humble to learn like you're you you're you're still able to learn like i say that because all offices don't look the same. So a lot of offices, the the doctors do things different. So it's it will be, um, don't take on that mentality of, you know, just because one doctor does things one way, that's how all doctors do things. That's not true because I work with different nurses. They do things differently. They were taught different things. You have to go with your best judgment. Um, so be able to learn the doctors that you're working with. Learn what they like. Learn how they like to do things. If you're unsure, ask questions. That's another thing. That's the last thing. Ask questions. Do not be afraid to ask questions. There will be times where you feel like, oh, you don't want to ask the question because it may show you as not knowing something. But no, ask questions because things are changing daily in the healthcare um, industry. Like, rules are training train uh changing there's always new um safety information that we're learning like don't hesitate to ask if you don't know because the worst thing that you can do is not ask and make the mistake that could cost you something so don't not ask questions ask if you do not know um and you can do it just know that you can do it uh i i just personally think that just working in healthcare right now for me is one of the most rewarding things and it's rewarding because i get to do what i like i get to help people i get to motivate people i get to i have an i get to mentality with working in healthcare because i get to help people like not everybody is graced to do that um my end goal is to become a labor and delivery nurse and i am so excited about it y'all like i have to sometimes just tell myself like hey get through this portion of the journey first, you're going to get there. Because some days I'm just like, okay, I don't want to work in urgent care. I want to go and work in women's health. But God will give me, um, he'll let me know when it's time for me to go ahead and take on that. But for right now, there there are things that I need to learn 
uh, about my journey with where I am, if that makes sense. I hope that made sense. But for the most part, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope that you are able to take something away from the things that I have said. And just, I, I, I know that the video wasn't the best visual of things that you would do as a medical assistant, but I do want you to know that during COVID or just depending on the setting, you may get hired on as a medical assistant and you may not do what you may have thought were medical assistant duties may not be what you are doing, but it is a part of your job. So the more that you do, the more you learn. So all is still well. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Don't forget to uh, click on that notification button so that you'll be able to know when I get notification. I mean, whenever I do new videos. And uh, y'all let me know what other videos y'all would like to see me do, what you want me to talk about. Um, and it is until next time, guys. Bye.